Hello and welcome to Wildbreak Studios, I'm Jay Wild, and today I'll be reviewing the 2016 LEGO Star Wars Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor. This set's number is 75135, comes with 215 pieces, is recommended for ages 7 through 12, and retailed for $24 in the US. So let's start with the minifigures. So here's our first character, Obi-Wan Kenobi, because it's Obi-Wan Kenobi's Jedi Interceptor. And this is a pretty plain character, I would say, because it's Obi-Wan, but you have that mic on this head right there. It's cool that it's a print right there, but I wish you get a normal Obi-Wan Kenobi. But since this is his Jedi Interceptor, they had to put that on. And we have normal prints on the torso here and on the back right here. The only differences are his head, as I said before. This is his kind of serious face. And then on the back here, we have his kind of scared or kind of angry and confused face right here. Both sides have that kind of goldish, silverish uh, mic on the side right here. His hair is the same as normal, and his lightsaber is the same, normal hilt and blade. And it's a cool version of Obi-Wan Kenobi when he's a pilot, but I would prefer him without the mic, even if he's flying his ship still. To me, this is a plain kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi, but if you are a serious collector, you probably should get this set because it has those microphone prints. Next up, we have R4P17. It's a long name for a R2 unit droid, or astromech droid, but it's a cool droid, I like it. It gives a set some flair because it's a different type of droid than R2-D2 or some other droid. This is R4-P17, Obi-Wan Kenobi's droid. And it has a nice dark red head, fills in all the white spaces, unlike R2-D2. And it has nice front prints on the front right here. This droid is totally like R2-D2 except for the red and dark gray. So now let's go to the ship. So here is Obi-Wan's Jedi Interceptor. It's quite a big build as wide as your hand. And it has two big guns on the front right here, right away, two guns in the front. Nice angles for the red pieces right here on the sides. Then it has these kind of mini guns on the sides. I don't know if they're mini guns or just decoration or something, but we have these on the side. And then we have Republic print stickers or prints. We have their prints. We have Republic prints right here. And then we have the spot where R4P17 can sit. So I'll just put them in right now. And we can see that he matches the ship already. Dark red, dark red. He fits in quite nicely. Doesn't fall out. This part right here sticks out because you can see his legs right there popping through. And you can also turn him the other way if you want. Looks quite nice. I like it. And then on this side we have another spot where you could put a droid, but they block it off so you can't. Underneath we have two flick missiles. We can shoot these like that. They are quite tucked in under there, so it's kind of easy not to see it. On the back here, you can shoot it like that. Then on the top here, we have the cockpit. This is the print on the front. And the cockpit is a print itself. It's a big print. You can open the cockpit like that. In the inside, we have the seat. We don't have any monitors or anything. I wish it did have some, one of those things or something. And the stud right here keeps the cockpit closed. On the wings here, we have a lot of stickers going on right here. Here and on the wings, on both sides of the wings, we have four wings, so they can open like that. This is attack mode, I guess. This is attack mode, and this is transportation mode. You can fold them as far as you want. And then here we have more stickers. I think these are like counting how many ships Obi-Wan has destroyed or damaged. And on the back here we have engine pieces right here. I don't know where this one went, I lost it. But they, they will both look like this. And then at the bottom here we have these nice round pieces to make it stand up easily. Now let's put an Obi-Wan so he can take his lightsaber out of his hand. We can open the cockpit, sit him in, like that. And then he, uh, you put his lightsaber right here. I figured out it's a nice way to keep it in. And it stays in quite nicely and you can see Obi-Wan is right there. You can see him nice and clear. The cockpit doesn't have any tints or shadows or anything. So you can see Obi-Wan right there. And also through this front piece, you can see his face kind of. So it looks pretty cool. His lightsaber is nice and tucked in right there. And you can put R4P17 right in there. And the ship looks quite nice. So in my opinion, this is a sturdy build. This set was retailed for $24, as I said before. And $24 for this set is a bit too much. I think it's kind of like too small for $24. Maybe 20 would work. And to me, this set is kind of plain. I mean, it, it's a good build. I like it. It's sturdy, solid. It's a quality set. Great build. Stud shooters. I mean, flick. you get flick missiles with the set. But it doesn't really, it's nothing really too special or cool about it, I think. It's a great birthday gift for friends. It's, it's small, you know. It's one of the smaller sets for birthday parties. But I don't think it's a set to collect. Unless you like collecting ships. 
or Obi-Wan Kenobi's or all types of minifigures, you should get this set. But it's nothing unique that sticks out to me. But if you did have Anakin's ship side by side, that'd be cool. That'd be a cool setup. You could have Anakin ship and you could have Obi-Wan ship side by side in episode 3. Because this set comes straight from episode 3, straight from the beginning of it. It would look cool with Anakin ship, but just by itself, it's kind of a plain set, as I said before. Here's the instructions for this set. We have Kylo Ren right here, the ship right here. We have some kind of some cruisers or ships in the background right here, and we can see it's Coruscant in the beginning. We have right away building, we go right away to building the set. And at the end, we have the peace count, a force building app, as Anakin ship right there. Features for the set. Lego Club, and that's all. So if you enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.